Well, I think the machine will do the job. We'll take it. Good. I'll get some guys from the shop to help load the truck. And while I'm doing the paperwork, you guys can take some time and look at a safety instruction video. Hey, man, we've been running construction equipment for a long time. We don't need to spend time looking at some video showing us how to run something as simple as a hole digger. Why don't you just get the paperwork done and we'll get going. we got a lot of work to do. Sorry, guys. Safety's a big thing with this company. Safety's also a big thing with General. If you guys won't take a few minutes to look at a safety video, then it's the policy of our company not to rent the piece of equipment. It's that important to us. You're kidding. No one's kidding, guys. Oh, okay. Get the paperwork going. We'll watch your video. Good. Come on over to the counter here. We'll get the thing started, and we'll get the people to load your unit on your truck. The concept of portable hole digging equipment has been successfully utilized for over 40 years as a practical solution to many types of hole digging job requirements. And while individual models produced by General may have small variances in design features, the safety precautions and operational characteristics discussed in this program apply to all one and two man portable hole diggers of their manufacture. Before utilizing the hole digger, visually inspect for loose, damaged or worn parts. Determine that operator controls work freely, all safety devices are operative, and that information decals are readable. It's essential that the hole digger and all related accessories are in good mechanical condition before you attempt to use it. Clothing must be sturdy and snug fitting, but still allow complete freedom of movement. Never wear loose fitting clothing or anything that could become caught on controls or moving parts. Gloves will protect your hands and improve your grip. Other safety equipment such as hard hats and safety shoes may also be appropriate on your job site. Always follow the engine starting procedure as outlined in the appropriate operator's manual. Two people operating a one-man hole digger can lead to confusion and possible loss of control. And never attempt to operate a two-man hole digger with just one operator. One person cannot safely handle a two-man hole digger. Working with the hole digger is strenuous. Upper torso, lower back, and legs are body parts most affected while digging. If you have any condition that might be aggravated by strenuous work activity, check with your doctor first. Each operator is required to supply forces that counteract the natural torque and kickback forces generated while digging. Kickback forces are created when the auger strikes a tree root, rock, or other buried obstruction, and its rotation is suddenly stopped. Kickback is characterized by a sharp movement of the handle in a counterclockwise direction toward each operator. Proper operating positions and techniques, as outlined in the appropriate operator's manual, can be successfully utilized to minimize the effects of torque and kickback forces. Keep the left side of the handle close to your hip area. Position your left foot ahead of your right foot. And spread your legs apart in a comfortable stance. This will help you to maintain proper balance. Arms should be kept as close to the upper body as possible to help maximize leverage and strength. Bending your legs as the auger digs will also help to reduce back muscle strain. Always assume that every digging site has some type of buried obstruction and be prepared for unexpected auger contact with these obstructions. Under certain conditions, striking a buried obstruction can produce a severe and sudden kickback force. Each operator must maintain physical and mental alertness at all times and be prepared to accommodate this phenomenon. When digging in areas filled with buried obstructions, allow the auger to chip away at the obstruction until the auger can either pass by or go through it. The technique usually involves each operator to hold up on the handle and establish a minimal digging rate for the auger. Proper operator position will help minimize the effects of kickback being created by the auger striking the buried obstruction. As a general rule, it's not necessary for each operator to press down on the handle grips to make the auger dig. Augers will usually dig at steady rates that will not cause them to bind and become stuck in the hole. When the auger becomes stuck, the centrifugal clutch inside the transmission will begin to slip. Pull up on the handle grips to free the auger. 
In sandy or loose soil conditions, it might be necessary for each operator to hold up on the handle grips to reduce the digging rate of the auger. This technique will help to prevent the auger from binding. In tough soil conditions, such as dry clay and hard pan, it might be necessary instead to press down on the handle grips to achieve acceptable digging rates. Regardless of soil condition or operator experience, the accepted procedure is to allow the auger to dig at a rate most comfortable to each operator, yet not allowing it to become stuck in the hole and causing the centrifugal clutch to slip. It's a common misconception that a larger auger can ream out a smaller, previously dug hole. Such practice poses a potential safety hazard. Instead, refill and compact the hole before digging with the larger diameter auger. It's a good safety rule to always stop the engine between each hole to help minimize the chance of personal injury. Some digging jobs may require a hole deeper than that provided by standard length augers. For many such requirements, both non-flighted and flighted auger extensions are available. Always follow the instructions in the appropriate operator's manual for their usage. Never bypass the more time-consuming procedure in the manual by connecting an extension directly to the auger before attempting to dig the hole. The resulting configuration can place the handle grips at a height that severely reduces operator leverage and control. Take a few minutes to read the appropriate operator's manual for the hole digger. It contains additional information that will give you a better understanding of the operational characteristics of the hole digger and of the accepted procedures used to dig holes. Keep it handy for quick reference. An informed, knowledgeable operator works with more confidence in himself and in the machine. He'll work with greater safety and be far more productive on the job site. Be aware of potential safety-related problems and their implications on the job site. Safety pays dividends. Work smart, and remember that safety is everyone's job and responsibility. This program is designed to promote safety and efficiency with general portable hole digging equipment. No warranty, guarantee, or representation is made by the manufacturer and or his authorized agent as to the absolute correctness and or sufficiency of any information or statement. This program is not intended to substitute for an operator's manual. Before attempting to utilize the hole digger, read the appropriate operator's manual and the materials applied by the engine manufacturer to familiarize each operator with correct operating procedures. Proper levels of operator experience, skill, and common sense are essential for the safe and efficient operation of the hole digger.